Hey guys, today I had no idea trolls for trolling people, so we, today we are gonna watch trolls on YouTube and we and where we can learn. Today I'm gonna react to the best trolls on YouTube, Minecraft trolls on YouTube. So let's watch the video. Um, interesting. Number one, Number one the angry lector. Okay. Hop down a lector in your friend's house and then run a redstone comparator out of it. Then connect. Dude, do you think I'm smart? I'm not get that good at redstone contraptions. Do you think what? Do you think I'm a redstone engineer? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this, man. I'm just gonna watch this. Some sort of redstone of your choice. Now I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to do, but then I'll just leave that there. Okay. Then you write a book telling them about your angry Dude, guys, lector. did you see that? He connected the redstone converter to redstone to TNT. So let's see. Oh, he, so he's writing a book. He's writing every see to every page that he's getting every page your fan turns is getting angrier. Okay, so I say stop. stop. And you can write whatever you want, but the more mm. they get into the book, the angrier the lectern gets. Stop turning the page. Okay, I promise if you can No, turn don't! Page, friend, I'm, I'm warning you. Okay, final warning. Do not turn, turn no! Page, don't! I'm not even sorry. I warned you. I warned you. I, and I, I told him it's an angry lectern. <laughs> <laughs> this is too funny, guys. I can't <laughs> stop this. This this guy high, okay? So your friend is AFK. Okay, your friend's AFK. Okay. Dude, I do, didn't know that, that could, that's possible. Okay. Okay, they, okay. So what's Dragon gonna do with this? Okay. See the scaffolding? Everything falls above of it. Genius. Oh my god, that's just so sad. Plant power. So if we're not killing him, what's the point? Oh, I know what's gonna happen at the end. Trust me, the investment is worth it. So literally did this to me. Every sapling you place is a few seconds of your time. Oh my Once gosh! Give it enough time. The, the house completely gone. And grow and grow until they are one solid mass of trees around. Dude, I can't even see their house dude. Anymore. And if, if this video hits a hundred likes. Um, made forty two thousand likes. I would throw somebody with one of these trolls. They come back in the house and they're just totally confused, and they may have to dig their way out quite a long way. Are kidding? Are you kidding? Would take literally hours, and they won't even. Dude, it's not just this, this to me again. You know what? That's it. I'm gonna do the same thing back to him. No, you didn't. Number four. He or her. It wasn't me. It was the man in the chicken the, costume. What, what do you I mean the man in the chicken going, costume? You call on your good old friend, poultry man, and you spam chickens everywhere. To the point where the... I did that, that one time, but I ran out of eggs, and that's terrible. There's so many chickens, they don't even know what to do with them. And if they ask you who did this, you can always blame the man in the chicken costume. Simple, but effective. I'm not laughing. Both I already did this once. Is it a plane? It's a plane! Go to your friend's house, wherever it may be, and grab yourself a bunch of scaffolding. Make your way all the way to build height, and also make sure it's directly above your friend's house. Make your way to the top of that scaffolding. Okay, I know what's gonna happen at the end. Yeah. He in case lava at the top. I know 
what's gonna happen then? They will see what's coming out of the way. Yeah, I know who is this. And then they realize what's coming there. Some of them just this to me. He stole it from another YouTuber. Try and work out how to stop a big pillar of lava from completely destroying their house. This is Pellis and Poon's genuine reaction to this prank. She had no idea what to do. She opted for this method of water. Why did she scaffolding? put scaffolding there? It's literally going to burn. The lava to completely destroy her house. Everyone reacts differently to this one. As long as your friend doesn't mind their house being destroyed, please do not grieve. I could troll somebody with this. I don't mind someone else strangers house being destroyed in Minecraft, so I could literally do this to them. Yeah, make it over your house and then watch your friend panic as they try to save your build. Number six, make treasure hunts. Go to your friend's house and I think I'm told by this again. Tells them to go to some specific coordinates thousands of blocks away. Tell them that they're going to get a reward. So why did you do this to, this to me again? And then travel there yourself via the nether or via a light train. Dude, this costs a lot of work, man. Then pop down a sign that simply says, Got him. And their face, when they see this, will be absolutely priceless. Number seven, a new feature. You go to your friend's okay. house and you locate their food chest. See exactly the numbers that they've got, and then rename rotten flesh to the same as their food. So you replace the mutton with rotten mutton. You replace the bread with rotten bread in the exact quantities, and then you leave, and that is all. When someone says, "Why is my food all rotten?" you tell them that it's a new feature in 1.14, seeing as lots of people are coming back to the game. That's way too. How did I not think of that? Maybe because I'm dumb. Oh man, nothing like rotten bread. What? I don't know what's new. Chances are they'll believe you <coughs> and see how long you can get away with it. Number eight, don't lose your head. This is a simple one where if your friend is AFK and not wearing armor, you dispense a silly Minecraft head onto them and see how long it is before they notice that they're wearing one. I reckon. I'm not gonna do this troll because it's using dragon hate. Do you know how dragon hates are? They are super hard to get. I'm never doing this, man. I'm never gonna waste one of these precious dragon hates on a troll. Is absolutely ludicrous. Number nine, locked in a box. You take a composter and you place it on the floor. You then spam it Why? with some vegetation Why? to a very specific point where there's just three pixels away from the top. Place a trapdoor on the top. Congratulations, you just trapped yourself. I get the whole point of this video, is to trap your friends. And you'll find that you can't actually get out. No and one just got locked in the reason, box. You have to break your way out. So you take your AFK friend and politely push them into said composter. You then lock the trapdoor downwards, and when they come back from being AFK, they'll find that they can't escape and of course you can laugh at them as they try and figure this out. Dude, that's Friends a great doc pro for showing me this one. Number ten, the mysterious wall. A lot of people don't know. It just be, actually be, girls in get a subscribe like this um, and you find them in the like a little troll velvet cherry with this one of these trolls. This. this is how you craft them in case you didn't know with a castle. I didn't know that you could craft them. Fairly simple, but an expensive item. All you do is plop it down inside someone's house. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that these are extremely explosive. I didn't know them. So, if your friend comes back and I didn't know that. It, they may not know what it is or that they can interact with it. Basically, they have a choice. Live with it or punch it. Oh my gosh, that's a big explosion. I thought end crystals were going to give you magical end house, but it's, not, it's just literally TNT Ponta. And a huge one too, that's a big ex wow, that's a big explosion. That's what's likely to happen. Number eleven, thinking with portals. Thinking with portals. <laughs> I always turn my Minecraft my sound down whenever I play Minecraft because I hate the nether portal sound. Ah stop it! Minecraft 
so obnoxiously loud. So, you can see where this is going. Hide more than one portal underneath their base and in close proximity to their main portal. And it's so annoying. It's really, really annoying. Number 12. No sleep for you. You go right next to their bed and make a small hole underneath it. You then lure in a zombie and convince them to go inside that hole. Rename them No Sleep. You simulate total comfort. And Whatever, are you kidding? Now with 2FL and IQ system. You, okay, that didn't tell as part of the video, the dang it. Oh, exactly how you found it. When your friend then tries to sleep to skip the night, they'll find that they can't because oh, there's really? a mob somewhere. Oh, really? Oh, that's mean, this mean? Looking for it before they find that mob. And this is hilarious. These trolls are the bamboos. You take the bamboo plant and you start spamming it all around their base. Kind okay. of like you did with the saplings. However, this is a different kind of annoying because bamboo is very easy to get rid of. Or is it? If you take the bamboo plant and try and whack it in this quantity with a sword, it is so painfully laggy to get rid of. Dude, if you do this to your, one of your friends, your server might, I mean your bow might crash. If the more bamboo you place, the more lagginess and your room might crash. This is just your life now. I would rather just live with the bamboo because this is absolute torture. And watching your friend lag around trying to get rid of the bamboo is absolutely hilarious. Number 14, snowed in. So let's pretend that your friend has made their house in a snowy area. Just outside their house, we're going to dig okay. a hole. Once you get down Why? deep enough for them to... Oh, this is just me. Take your scaffolding block and build it high enough so that it has at the level. I know it's another scaffolding pit trap. You then cover up the hole using the scaffolding and then cover that up with snow, completely hiding our new scaffolding floor. We then play the long game and hide underneath it until our friend comes back along to enter their home. If you tie oh, it just, just right. As you mean the bottom block of the scaffolding, they should come. Oh my gosh, that's the dude, that's the meanest pit trap ever still I've ever seen in my entire life. This when Minecraft first came out, and it's still annoying. Pops an obsidian over your friend's chests and watch them go. <sighs> dude, this is so Surprise annoying. Creeper. You can probably Surprise creeper. You go inside your friend's house, you then knock through a tiny hole just above their ceiling and place two trap doors. This will ensure maximum carnage. You then place a third trap door on the ceiling. You lure in a creeper with a big risk involved into that space. You push him by any means necessary, whether it is by piston or by luring him in yourself, until he is in the correct position. You then make sure that your friend comes in and sees that trap door. Their immediate reaction is to open it, and need I say more? Number 17, the bed bandit. This is a very simple one, but it's annoying. Number Guys, I already know what is he is about to do. He's gonna break the bed, it will reset the respawn point. The, your friend doesn't have them sleep in it yet, or set their respawn point there. And then he placed them into another position, and they didn't sleep in it. So they all get all the way back to spawn. Why does it sound like that? It sounds like a crazy bandit right now. Every time your friend puts their bed down, simply move it a couple of blocks. Then the next time they die, they will always end up back at spawn, which is really, really annoying. Number this 18, is annoying. the floor is not quite lava. So if I know, I already know what's gonna happen. He's gonna make damaging carpets by removing the command. And, and then ma the add magma, I already know what he's up to. And I already and know some of those trolls that they, they were uh, they were are really annoying. And they're still the annoying in the other updates like one point is house and remove some of the ceiling blocks and replace them with a slightly odd colour such as acacia. Then go into the ceiling itself and add a bunch of anvils. They will then walk into their house, think that's strange, and fix their roof just to find a bunch of anvils falling on them. And it doesn't matter which part they try and break. If they will all fall down. Number 20. What goes up? Outside your friend's house, we're going to create... Yes, I might make another part to this video. So, bye.